Many migrants also moved to Australia to study. A prominent figure in the Melbourne Chinese community, Gladys Liu moved from Hong Kong to study and has since built her life in Melbourne with her family. My name is Gladys Liu. I came from Hong Kong. I came here to study. Um, I regard myself as a very uh, lucky person because I was given a scholarship um, by the Hong Kong government to come here to study speech pathology. I came to Australia in 1985 as a student. When I came, um, I knew nobody, not even one. The person who came to the airport to pick me up was my friend's 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 friend. And um, I came here with two suitcases um, and what he did was he had the job to take me from the airport to the uh, Lincoln Institute where I studied and he just dropped me at the front door of Lincoln Institute. Oh, and the rest is up to me. Um, when I first came to Australia, um, I didn't expect myself to stay here for that long because I came here to study, so uh, it was a four years course. Uh, I was thinking of going home after my study. I spent my childhood and early education in Hong Kong and I came here for university. I worked and started a family. Um, I see myself as a Chinese but at the same time, I see myself as an Australian. I see the people who grew up here um, behaving differently from myself. When I came here, I was 20. So I have learned a lot. Um, and the culture that I've learned, it was the, the Hong Kong style culture, whereas um, uh, the people that I know who grew up here, uh, they have the Australian culture. So I think so. I think they behave differently from how I behave, or I should put it the other way. Maybe they see me differently from them. When I first finished my study, I managed to get a job, and then two years later, I got married, and uh, another two years later, I had my first child, and another two years later, I had my second child. I was living quite happily uh, in my own world. It was about year 2000, I started to get involved uh, in the wider community and for my own good because um, I wanted to do Tai Chi, believe it or not. And I called the Tai Chi master uh, of the Hong Kong club. I said, can I come? I was, you know, I was only young um, because I thought Tai Chi was uh, something for the, the elderly. And he said, don't worry, we've got students from the age of 10 to 80, so come along. So that's how I started to get outside of my own world. After I joined the Tai Chi group of the Hong Kong club, then I was asked to uh, represent the Tai Chi group to the Hong Kong club committee. So that was rather interesting. Um, so I went along, and from there, um, I was asked to join another group, another group that was called the Chinese Professional and Business Association. And from there, I then joined the Federation of Chinese Associations, where I did a lot of things for the Chinese community. It was from doing something for myself, got involved, and then finding the joy of doing something for other people. And that got me heavily involved in Chinese organizations. Melbourne is a melting pot of many cultures, and there are a growing number of families who are made up of more than one ethnicity. Sarah Chan is third generation Australian Chinese, who is from a cross-cultural family. Her father is second generation Australian Chinese, and her mother is of Anglo-Saxon descent. We find out how she connects with her Chinese culture and whether there are any challenges with balancing two cultures. Okay, um, my name is Sarah Chan. My full name is Sarah Margaret Chun Chan. I have both my grandparents in as middle names, my grandma, grandmothers. Um, I was born here in Australia. Uh, my dad is Chinese. My mother is of Anglo-Saxon descent. So even though I don't look it, I... I guess you could say I do feel Chinese in a lot of ways. Um, I've grown up in suburbia, 
Um, it's been a fairly, I guess you could say, a steady, steady childhood, fairly stable, fairly loving, sometimes too loving, I think, on dad and mum's side. <laughs> um, but a lot of fun too. I've been brought up in two worlds, you could say. Um, I've been in Australia my whole life. My dad was born here. He was the first of the children, I guess, of his generation to be born here. But his older sister was born in Hong Kong before that. So, um, yeah, I was born here and so was my brother. My mum's dad came from Britain. Um, he was a child of World War II. And then they moved out here not long after World War II broke out. Um, my dad's dad moved out here to work in the 50s. And he sent money back for a long time to my papa and my eldest aunt. And then when they finally saved up enough money, they came out as well. And dad was born, followed by four sisters. So big family living out in Mildura. Um, a lot of cultural acceptance, I find. I find, anyway. Not everybody does, I know that. Um, fresh air. I've been to Hong Kong. I know the difference. <laughs> um, and the opportunity for a stable life. It seems greater here than what we hear about in other countries. All through primary school and high school, I had friends of all ethnicities. Um, I studied Mandarin as well um, during primary school and part of high school. I dropped it once, I got to year 10 though. Um, and I still see a lot of those friends today and being part of a martial arts school as well. Um, I have a lot of friends through that that are of Asian descent as well and I eat a lot of Asian food. <laughs> um, most of them have been born here. They are generally the first of their generation to be born here. Their parents usually were the ones that migrated out here. Um, but we have had, I do know of a couple of friends that it was their grandparents, just like my grandparents, that came out here. And then it was um, their children that were the first generation instead. I read, I see movies, I come and train here. Martial arts, drumming, drumming is a real big passion for me, Chinese drumming. Um, hang out with friends, we go out, drink a lot. Not that much, <laughs> but we, we go drinking, we have um, dance nights, karaoke, go out and eat really good food mm -hmm. if we can. <laughs> Movies as well. Um, I'd say it's a very big mix of both. Mm -hmm. Dad brought Daniel and I up on movies from SBS like Once Upon in China, the Project A series with Jackie Chan. Um, so we had a, I guess you could say, a big cultural influence there. And we still watch a lot today in regards to that. So. The stories of the people that we have met in this episode are just a small sample of the varied backgrounds of Chinese people, but we hope that it's provided a bit of insight into the lives of Australian Chinese people. In our next episode, we will introduce some of the traditions for Chinese New Year and explore which traditions are being passed down to the next generation.